Hello everyone, this is Juveria and you're watching Straight Up by Eric's Live. After a marathon 11 days of hearing, the Karnataka High Court has reserved its judgment in the hijab case that has rocked the country since the start of this year. Today, the full judge bench consisting of Chief Justice Rituraj Avasti, Justice J.M. Kazi and Justice K.A. Sikshit heard the final petitioners in the case that will decide if students will be permitted to attend educational institutions wearing a hijab or any item of religious clothing in Karnataka. As the nation awaits this verdict, we take a look at the timeline of events that led us up to this point. It all began in December 2021 when six girl students of the Kundapur Pre-University College in Udupi claimed that they were denied entry into the college unless they removed the hijab. The girls protested in front of the institution and when the college did not yield, they conducted a press conference bringing the issue to the centre stage on January 1. The matter then swiftly spread to other colleges in the state where girl students were allegedly denied entry in hijab and took to the streets in protest. It then took a communal turn when students sporting saffron shawls launched a counter-protest and began marching down the streets of various districts in the Kutakshin Kannada region. It was alleged that various right-wing organizations were instigating the students in saffron shawls and the organization Campus Front of India, on the other hand, was behind the stand taken by the Muslim girls. The students of the college in Udubi, where the matter was first reported, also filed a petition in the High Court against the college's decision claiming that the college was infringing upon their constitutional rights under Article 19A and Article 25, among others. These include freedom of expression and freedom of conscience. On February 5, the Karnataka government issued an order that cited three High Court judgments to conclude that the hijab was not an essential religious practice and was therefore not protected under Article 25.1 of the Constitution. The government order added that all students are required to wear the uniform prescribed by the institution only. On February 7, the protests turned violent in some areas and educational institutions were ordered shut by the government. On February 9, Justice Dixit, who was earlier hearing the petitioners, transferred it to a full bench of the High Court for hearing, which commenced on February 10. In its interim order on that date, the court directed that all educational institutions be reopened again. However, it barred students from wearing any items of religious clothing to classes, including hijabs or satin shawls, until the case was decided upon. This despite protests from petitioners that they cannot suspend their faith for a few days. In the following hearings, the court was told by Advocate General Prabhuling Nawati that the GO was innocuous and that it had put the onus on institutions to decide on the uniform. He also said that the prohibition on hijab was during class hours only and not broadly inside the educational institution. Advocate Ravi Verma Kumar argued that these girls were being targeted based on their religious identity and that there is no harm in allowing them to wear the hijab. Advocate Devdutt Kamath, in his reply to the AG, said that banning religious symbols from public view was contrary to the intentions of the Constituent Assembly. And that's where things stand today. Do watch this space for the final word. Until then, mask up and stay safe and we will see you tomorrow.